Welcome back to the BW Adventures. As you can see, I'm in my car, which can only mean one of two things. A, I'm surprising Jess, or B, we're off out somewhere. And today, I've come, jumped on YouTube to surprise Jess. Now, this year, on the 1st of December, we have Snowflake Sparkle, the elf, coming to stay for the duration of December. Snowflake Sparkle was a very naughty elf, so what the elf has planned is to decorate our house and turn it into Santa's grotto. Now, Jess is in the office on the 1st of December, which kind of buys me a little bit of time. However, um, I have a plan and the plan is to buy little bits thinking, oh yeah, I'm just going to keep buying them and then putting them up as we go along so it's not such a big job on the first. So, so far, I went to Home Bargains and I've brought a light-up Santa that's battery-operated that's inside our window and I'll insert that clip here. So, does anybody else at any point at Christmas, after buying as many decorations, go, I'm not going to buy any more this year? And then they walk into like someone at Home Bargains or Tesco and they're like, I need that. Because seriously, I have an issue. I think I have an addiction to buying Christmas decorations. So I went into Home Bargains today and after saying I'm going to buy no more um, Christmas decorations, what happens is I walk in there down the Christmas aisle and bam, I see the perfect christmas decoration that we are missing here for our house and the plan is i'm gonna go back to see if i can get a snowman a star and i think it's a reindeer for the rest of our windows and then i'm gonna put my dad's rope light up as well so it's less to do on the first so the basic plan is i'm gonna put fairy lights around all of our windows inside put a silhouette battery operated light in all the windows i'm going to put snow on the floor i'm gonna put um lights on the pig cages and also that snowflake icicle stuff the felt stuff on their cage and around the outing of the house as well and I'm going to wallpaper the walls with like red and white wallpaper and I'm going to put fairy lights everywhere, candy canes everywhere, snow everywhere just so it feels like Santa's Grotto and make it extra special for Jess this year. And then I'm going to blame the elf so it's not actually my fault. So as part of my Christmas Grotto makeover um, I have brought this musical doormat sensor. So when you stand on it, it sings Merry Christmas or Jingle Bells. Okay, so I've just arrived at Home Bargains. It is two days until our Christmas Grotto makeover. And I still need to get quite a lot of stuff. So I thought if I come today to Home Bargains, I could hopefully get everything I need. But if not, it gives me another day tomorrow to go and get everything else that I don't get today. 
So I am looking for wrapping paper, fairy lights, sellotape and window stickers or lights and some outside lights and candy canes and snow blankets and icicles for around the house as well. So wish me luck. Okay, so I've just finished in Home Bargains and that was um, probably the best shopping trip I've done in a while. I've managed to get all the fairy lights I wanted, all the silhouettes I wanted for our windows and I managed to get the icicles. So I just need wrapping paper and I just need um, a snow blanket um, and some form of candy cane. So if you know where I can candy canes from. I have to Google to find Okay, so it's taken me three shops to find everything I need for Santa's Christmas Grotto at our house. I will show you the wrapping paper. So this is what I'm going to wrap our walls in. So it's red and it's got like candy canes and um, sweets on it. So it doesn't matter which way um, round it can go. I also brought um, two of these to go on the floor so it's like snow. I think I may need another one But it's given me enough time to go home Put it on the floor and find out if I need another one or not So I've got tomorrow to come back and get one Now the challenge is is I've got to hide all this from Jess for two days So Jess likes to look in my car um, To see if there's anything for her in there um, So I'm gonna have to put it inside a bag when I get back to hide it because it'll give it away otherwise Good morning everyone, it is the 1st of December, it is about half past seven, now it's time to do the Christmas Grotto. So what we're going to do is I'm going to get everything from my car, I'm going to be wallpapering the walls, turn it into literally Santa's Grotto, I'm super excited so I'm going to get everything from the car and I'll see you in a minute. Plan of attack is the start on this side of the house. So let's go. First bit of the wall is officially done. There is no going back now. So this side of the hallway has been done and in to the kitchen. <laughs> This is like our parcel door, this is our candy cane door, uh, obviously as you've seen it before this is a wrapped and as you see a bow just keeps falling off onto the ground. They're going to act as giant Christmas baubles, let's go. And here we have one giant Christmas bauble. Three packs of star lights like this, they are battery operated and these will go around the window and then we've got a Christmas tree, a star and a reindeer. This is Santa's Grotto walkthrough and all the Pringles, it's amazing. Yeah, this turns on, this turns on, that's cool. We have some 
Christmas baubles. This is the outside, so obviously when it gets dark and Jess is home, then it'll be like really, really bright. So here is Loki playing in the snow. So I'm just going to work and I'm actually really nervous. Jess will be home in about two hours, so I'm hoping all the batteries will still be on and it'll still be as magical um, for when Jess gets in the house. Next time you'll see me is if I'm crying, I've been kicked out, or Jess would absolutely love it. So watch your space. So it's about an hour till Jess gets home. I've just gone to work. I'm sitting in the car waiting to go in. So the countdown is officially on. Thank you.